industrial application of uh, different uh, cross and skew and helical rolling method is in our presentation. Agenda of our presentation is introduction. After that, it will be rotary compression, cross weight rolling, uh, helical weight rolling, skew rolling, and at the end, summary. Uh, thinking about industrial application, we also uh, have to do many scientific tests and also verify different solutions before thinking about industrial application. At this field, we haven't place to make mistake, and because of that, uh, we do many different simulation, many different experimental verification before start to think about uh, industry. Uh, concerning rolling and rolling forging, we have different technologies. Longitudinal rolling, we have uh, cross rolling, helical rolling. It's main schema of our application uh, at this field. Idea of rotary compression test is presented here. Uh, why we do it? Uh, normally, we have many different criteria concerning uh, cracking, presence or cracking initiation, but uh, thinking about rolling processes, uh, it's our own test to verify when we should obtain cracks in our application, and this test this consists from two channel die and disc rotating between these dies, and we verify this distance as it's a critical distance concerning uh, crack presence. Tests are made in our own, own designed machine. It's our university, it's one of machines will be presented after. And Using this machine, we do this test. Here we have rolling, and we verifying when this crack is present. After that, we obtain many different results concerning different uh, temperatures, concerning different as uh, distance, critical thinking about crack presence, and we do tests to obtain information for our future application in industry. Parallelly with this process, using finite element method, we try to make verification. Here we have distribution of Cockroft LATAM criterion. And thinking about this criterion, normally at this uh, tensile test, Comparing with our rolling disc with channel dice, results are a few times bigger. Value of uh, obtained results in uh, rotating tests is a few times bigger and normally mm, applied in our application. cross rolling, it's our proposition of process. step at shaft, it's a typical process with this simulation. Normally, uh, last application of this process in industry by us, it's a different solution concerning uh, steel balls forming for grinding mills and with different application. Uh, one more time, perhaps it will be possible. One more time, we have the same test made in our own machine, and here we have rolling of balls. Uh, also question uh, why we use uh, Forge software when we, from 20 years we apply many different softwares. It's uh, one unique possibility to have splitting of obtained parts, splitting of work pieces during simulation. And it's a main reason why when we start to uh, cooperation. 
Here we have Bols industrial application with many different solutions. It's a cooperation with Russia, with China, with Germany, with many different cars, uh, countries, uh, as also like in Polish industry condition. Current research concerns cross-wage rolling process with different stages. Here we have railway axles rolled in two stages. First stage, it was rolling of middle part, and after that, we form ends. Another schema of uh, this process, firstly, is rolled middle part of this axle, after that, when clutching the opposite uh, tools, we have forming of ends. It's a comparison of two different solutions for these big axles uh, manufacturing. It's for railway, it's uh, two meters and a half length. It's a really big parts concerning these kinds of manufacturing. Perhaps I have to... It's not automatically start, but I hope... Yes. Here it's a helical weight rolling. Uh, why helical in place of uh, cross? Helical, we think about productivity. Here, the number of coils uh, results in number of balls obtained in full rotation of uh, rolls. Also, parallelly with uh, finite element method test, we apply physical test. Here we have application of plasticine, and normally with this plasticine, we applied tools printed in 3D printer. In many situations, not only finite element method is really good, because times to times we would like to verify placing of, uh, of parts inside feeder. We can verify what will happen in practice. The prices of these tests are, of course, really cheap, comparing with uh, made it in steel in industry. Here we have helical rolling results, like sausages, we can obtain balls, and the question is only how many, uh, how many balls we would like to produce in hour or in 24 hours, it's uh, up to the industrial asks. Uh, normally, uh, tool shape is verifying in this kind of uh, testing our university. Also, it is uh, modernization of tool shape with sharp edges also to obtain good uh, feeling of impressions. Example of industrial application with Hassan Clever rolling machine obtained from French industry, from one of our partners. And here we have a movie. I'm waiting for start. Oh, it's going right. Uh, here we have forming from a uh, railway head, scrapped railway head. Now we form round bar at the first stage. We have rolling in passes, we obtain round bar. And after that, from this round bar, we will obtain balls. Here we have returning and working pass. Now, after this pass, we will look. <coughs> uh, 
and round bar goes to helical rolling and now we will form balls. It's also own designed machine in our department in industrial practice. In contact with rolls, bars start to rotate and after that finally we obtain balls. Dimen typical uh, dimension of these balls is from uh, 30 millimeters up to more than 100. Also, proposition how to <coughs> sorry uh, how to make this process easier. In first step from uh, railway head we make one moment uh, from railway head we made round bar and also with upsetting and after that directly we obtain balls also this proposition is worth to interest helical wedge rolling also industrial application of ball pins forming. And concerning this ball pins, here we have a numerical simulation. Also, it will be going like sausages. And after that, the same process in experimental verification. After that, rolled parts, you can look here, and comparison between finite element method results, experimental results, and how it is working during process. Comparison is really close. In next picture, also, I will show the differences. Here we have also temperature distribution. We can talk about changes of many different parameters. Also, we are thinking about temperature. Temperature at the separation zone uh, is uh, really big because of uh, uh, plastic work changing on heat. Here also next results concerning damage criterion. Also, it's a comparison between the uh, value of obtained parameters also, in practice, it's shown uh, cracking of parts in place of bridges between. And as I said before, it's a comparison of dimensions, nominal experimental at the finite element method calculated, obtained in our test. In industrial practice, it's interesting that it's acceptable. For verifying results of numerical calculation, also we think about radial forces. Here we have a comparison of cyclically changed uh, radial forces and also the same concerning torque values. It's result obtained during our verification. For skew rolling, now our last proposition concerns numerically controlled uh, rolling mill. 
here we have a simulation with a uh, changing of workspace between roles, numerically controlled, and after that this process can be linked with, for example, forging. In practice, numerically controlled rolling mill will work here. In Polish it's positioning command. <laughs> I don't like to translate, sorry. Very good. Uh, the advantages of this method is possibility of forming, uh, for, for example, on a single parts with changing of sequence of uh, work space and, and uh, displacement. Because of that, short series can be formed by this method and the tools are not really expensive. And at the end for this presentation, in our department we are working at 10 person. Our chief is Professor Pater, and it's our commercial offered for industry. All these machines are designed, built and proposed by our department. Rolling mills presented here. This one. It's also different solution. And for example, like this, uh, it's crossway rolling with reverse rolling without, uh, without empty movement. We have possibility of forming in one and in second way. Also, it's a working cycle of this process. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>